Today we're going to quickly talk about my workflow from Adobe Illustrator to After Effects. And we're going to cover the two main ways that I bring in artwork. Okay, so first when you get into Illustrator, let's go to the color mode and make sure that it's RGB and not CMYK. CMYK is for print, but sometimes files come in CMYK because designers were thinking print first. So you can see all of this is one layer group. If I import this now, After Effects will only bring it in as one layer. I should also mention that After Effects will ignore any artwork placed in the scratch area, which is this gray area that isn't in our artboard. So we need to decide how we want to split this up. And I think I'll make a layer for each line of text and one for the icon. So I'll click this icon to make a few new layers. And then I'll double click on our artwork a few times to drill down and I'll cut the part that says pixel. And I'll come back to the top, click on layer two and paste it. But if I hit control V, it pastes it in a random spot. Maybe someone can tell me why Illustrator wants to do this by default, but what you have to do is paste in place. So if we come up here to the edit menu, I can see that paste is control V, but paste in place is control shift V or shift command V on Mac. And this will paste it in the same spot. So I'll cut and paste planet and I'll cut and paste studios. And lastly, I'll cut the icon and paste it on layer five. And we'll delete these extra layers and we'll rename them. So pixel, planet, studios, and icon. And I'll go ahead and save this. And when I import it into After Effects, I'll let it know that I want it to import as a composition. And I'm going to copy these layers over to the comp that I'm working in. And when I scale them up, you can see that they're blurry. So I'll check this continuously rasterize icon for all of the layers. And if you don't see it, click on toggle switches modes. So there we go, everything is separated and ready to be animated. Another option to separate your artwork into layers, you can see that all this artwork is in this clip group. So we select this clip group and click this hamburger menu and go to release layers sequence. And now each one of these shapes is on its own layer. And I'll drag them all out so that they're not sub layers. Of course, you might want to combine and modify some of these so you don't have a million layers in After Effects. But the organization kind of depends on the organization of the original artwork you started with. For my second main method, we're going to use Overlord. So at the time of filming this video, Overlord is $55, which is well worth it for the time that it saves me. It creates shape layers in After Effects based off of your artwork. So this button, if you hover over it, says split shapes to layers. So I usually keep that on, but if you want everything to come in as one shape, you can click this. So I'll demonstrate. If I select all of this and push it to After Effects, you'll see that studios came in letter by letter, but the rest of it came in as one giant shape. There's ways to break this apart in After Effects, but if you want the letters of, let's say, pixel separated, we can go back to Illustrator and keep double clicking to kind of drill down in the hierarchy and then select the shapes of pixel and push those to After Effects. And now these are separate shape layers we can manipulate. Also notice that we lost these gradient bands along the pixel icon. Color issues like this sometimes happen with Overlord, so you should always compare the shape layers in After Effects to the original artwork. For really complex artwork like characters, I've found that After Effects handles Illustrator files better, and for some simpler artwork, I find that shape layers work better and I have more control over them. 